This is a story of a lady who was suffering from dilated cardiomyopathy for last seven years. She is 27 year old when first detected to have symptoms and signs of cardiac failure. And after five years she came to us and we advised her transplant. She in and out of ICU was suffering from severe low cardiac output, high serum creatinine and LFT was deranged. She waited two and a half months, finally she got a heart from distance. We got the heart, we did the transplant, but unfortunately she had a right ventricular dysfunction for which we put her on ECMO on 24th of uh, August. We gave rest to the heart for five days complete, but this was a partial support and today we removed the ECMO. This was a femoral femoral cannulation via ECMO. Uh, we supported about 1.2 liters. Right now she's off. We have decannulated and closed the wounds, repaired the artery and vein. She's doing well, all the parameters are okay. So RV pressure to begin with was more than 40 and which came down to almost normal. Normal pressure is 25. It is swinging between 25 and 27, which is pretty good. She's on minimum dose of inotropes. So you can see that this we have done on bedside and she's on minimal inotropes. We have kept the ECMO machine actually on standby with circulating circuit, 1.6 liter flow, oxygenated blood. In case anything happens later on, we don't have to waste the circuit and oxygenator. We can use the same circuit. Hopefully she won't need it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.